Hey guys, Jay Shimura one here, and welcome back to another video. This is another experiment video with crappie fillets, and in today's video, I'm going to be soaking these fillets in Gatorade. I know that sounds really weird. This was actually a viewer-suggested video, and so I went ahead and said, you know what, let's do it. Went out, got some Gatorade, and today we're going to be soaking uh, those crappie fillets in the Gatorade, and tomorrow we're going to be cooking those fillets and seeing kind of what they taste like and seeing is it really even worth doing. If you're new to this whole series, uh, pretty much I'm doing the same thing. I'm soaking fish in different substances and seeing whether or not they're good. I have a whole playlist over this actually if you want to check it out. It's in the top right corner uh, of the video right now if you want to go check it out and get caught up. We've tried hot sauce, buttermilk, salt water, all types of things and now we're getting into the crazy stuff. So uh, that is exactly what we're going to do. Also in this video, I'm soaking crappie fillets in mustard water. Apparently that is really good too. I've never tried it either, so I figured, you know what, we'll go ahead and toss that in. Uh, so we've got Gatorade and mustard. Two pretty opposing substances if you ask me. Alrighty, so all the fish are fillet crappie. I have four crappie fillets. Two are going to be going in Gatorade and two are going to be going in uh, mustard water. So we're going to go ahead and get that set up right now. I think the mustard, we're going to put like a little bit of mustard in there and a little bit of water and kind of stir it up and then leave it in there. And the Gatorade we just pour on top. I hate wasting perfectly good Gatorade, but it's for science, guys, it's for science. Discovery. Now, in theory, this is how it normally goes, Gatorade should seep into the fish overnight uh, and replace all the blood and all that. It should seep into the meat. So whenever I cook this tomorrow, it should end up like, for some reason, tasting like Gatorade. I don't think that's, I don't think it's gonna work, but we're gonna see. Alrighty, so the fish is in the fridge. Now all we have to do is wait until tomorrow. And uh, I'm just gonna go and skip all that time for you guys, which will land about right now. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. I'm about to start getting the fish out of the fridge and we're gonna see what these fish fillets look like, smell like, and eventually taste like. So I'm gonna go and turn on the air fryer where I get some hush puppies and french fries in there uh, for sides. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these fish fillets out and start taking a look at them. Now, on first glance at these, uh, the mustard water, all the mustard seems to have like fallen down in the water. I don't know if I didn't do a good job mixing or, or what happened there, but uh, I mean, it's still gonna turn out fine. And then on the Gatorade fish fillets, these things actually like, it, the water doesn't, or the, the water, the Gatorade doesn't look very much different than when I first poured it in there. So I don't know if uh, it did correctly with pulling all the blood out, but we're gonna see it here in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these fillets off and lay them on the plate and we'll see if there's anything noticeable about them. Guys, this test is going to be insane. Both of these fillets look completely different. Uh, the mustard fillets are like discolored, I'd almost say. Some of them are like darker, some areas are lighter. It's a little bit weird, but they, and obviously they smell like mustard. And the Gatorade fillets are actually purple. Uh, a very small tint of purple, but they are purple. The Gatorade that we chose was like this clearish purple uh, Gatorade, and therefore they turn purple. So. Uh, I do not know how these are going to taste, but there's only one way to find out. We're going to go and start cooking them right now. Now, as with the previous test, we are going to be using the Louisiana fish fry. Uh, if you've never tried this stuff before, it is the absolute best breading that there is. There's a link to it in the description below where you can pick up some if you've never tried it before. That's what I'll be using to bread them, and we are going to be pan frying uh, these fish fillets today. Now, in order to be breading these fillets, I took some uh, Louisiana fish fry breading and I put it in this little quart Ziploc baggie. What we're going to be doing is taking those fillets, putting it in here, and shaking them up as much as we can to get an even coating of breading. Once we do that, I'll put them back on the plates and they'll be ready to go in the pan. And we are gonna be putting the Gatorade fillets in first so as not to mess up the whole experiment. Cause I feel like if we put the mustard fillets in there, the whole, like the grease is just gonna taste like mustard. It's gonna seep into these. This is the reason we're doing this video. The mustard's just an add on. Grease is ready. So here goes the first fillet. There's one and there's the other. Go. 
guys, this is insane. I cannot believe you. You'd have to be here. This smells like frying Gatorade. If that's even makes sense. These fish, like they smell like fish, of course, but it smells like Gatorade fish. That, that's insane. Uh, the mustard fillets are over there ready to go, but these, these right here, oh my goodness. Gatorade fillets are done and they like are really crispy, like brown, but I left them in there the same amount of time as I normally do uh, my fish fillets. So I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. Mustard fillets are in the skillet. Alrighty guys, the mustard fillets are almost done, and let me tell you, this just took me back to my childhood. These smell just like the fair, like you know the corn dog smell, you know? Like that's exactly what they smell like, and it is so, it smells so good. I cannot wait to try these, but we're getting those out. We got the, the french fries in the air fryer, and we're gonna do the hush puppies just in the grease just to get it done faster uh, so we can get this test underway. Alrighty guys, uh, all the fish is cooked, all the fries are cooked, and all the hush puppies are cooked. Therefore, we are ready to start eating. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my plate and meet you guys out in the sunroom, and we'll go ahead and test out these fish fillets. Alrighty guys, it is time, it is time to try out these fillets. First, I'm gonna try the less ridiculous one. We're gonna do the mustard fillet first. This one is actually gonna be pretty good, I think. So I'm gonna go do a break test for you guys on camera. There we go. Nice and crispy, it seems. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, take ourselves a piece right here. And here we go. Hmm. Well, I'll be honest with you. It's not very different from just like regular fish. Let me, that's good. Uh, definitely better than regular fish uh, more flavor. I mean uh, But it's nothing It's nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy. It's good. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend you try it I mean you might like it a lot more, or, you know a lot less than uh, regular fish, but for me it's, it's nothing crazy. It is good though It is really good. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the spotlight of today's video the Gatorade fillets All right, here we go. I'm gonna take one of these fillets do a break test for you Oh, look at that. That is some perfect fish. As weird as it sounds, it smells like Gatorade. Very, very faint, but it does smell like it. Let's go ahead and uh, go and try this out. Hmm. Very, very tender piece of fish. Very, very tender. Take another bite here. It's crazy to, to believe this. I mean, this actually tastes very, very faintly like Gatorade. I mean, you, you, I mean, literally just a tiny, tiny bit of uh, Gatorade in there. But I'll tell you what, that's actually really good. Uh, it's a mix between sweet and savory. Like you get the fish, right? And you get the breading. And then right at the very end, right when you think it's over, you get this tiny little kick of like a Gatorade flavor. And the thing is, it's not overpowering either. It's actually, it's actually really good. I'm happy I tried that. That was actually really, really good. And uh, Kelvin, let me say, I am happy uh, that I did end up doing this. I recommend you guys do it as well. I mean, is it different? Yeah, but the fish is like the most tender fish I've ever had. It's not absurd. Like, I mean, you're not gonna be getting it and it's just gonna be overpowering and you know horrible no it's very very slight but it is there and it's really good so yeah man I, I, I like that a lot so now for the most important part of the video which one of these fillets do I think is better uh, between the two I've got to say the Gatorade fillet it, it's it's just so good uh, the mustard fillet is good yes uh, it, it has a unique flavor profile but the Gatorade one to me is just a little bit better. I don't know. It pales in comparison to the hot sauce filet though. I mean, if you haven't seen that video, top right corner of this video right now, there's a, a link to that video. The hot sauce filet is still number one for me. That I hate hot foods, but that filet was number one. Uh, I think Gatorade comes in number two. I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys off. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because I'll have more videos just like this coming in the future. The next one, I'm not going to spoil it too much. It's going to be even crazier than this one so uh, make sure to stick around for that video and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video until next time jay Miller went out see ya